been uh, a decade that Narendra Modi has been in power. Uh, he remains uh, quite popular. Uh, this, this, of course, is, has been his second term that he's about to complete. He remains quite popular despite how controversial he has been in the eyes of, of many. And I think that if he is reelected, and there's a very strong chance that he will be back uh, for a third term, the concerns that many have had about India will, will grow. It's very well known that we have seen during Modi's uh, term in power, we have seen um, uh, space for dissent shrink. We have seen growing crackdowns on dissent. And what's particularly concerning uh, for many observers of, of India is that the country's secular traditions, which are constitutionally protected, appear to be um, under peril due to Prime Minister Modi's strong emphasis on what is widely regarded as, as Hindu nationalism. It's not surprising that many opposition leaders, including Rahul Gandhi, the head of the Congress party, have built a campaign plank around this idea of needing to move forward and build an India that actually is supportive of all Indians, regardless of religion and so on. And that clearly is taking a very strong, uh, a very different position from the one that, uh, that Modi has taken. But the opposition, I would argue, in India is at the end of the day relatively weak and divided, and you don't have any really strong charismatic opposition leaders can, that can capitalize on these vulnerabilities for the Modi government and use that against uh, the Modi government. And if he wins, he'll have a fresh mandate, uh, likely a very strong mandate, to continue to carry out the policies that he has been putting out there over his decade in power. And that suggests to me that this trend that we've seen that includes um, a, uh, a, a significant threat to democracy, we will see that continue.